Hey everybody, it's Rob Nelson. Now, when I was younger, I used to work as a biologist, as an aquatic invasive species uh, biologist. But one of the things we did was try to help lakes not get invasive species in them. And really, there's only so much we can do as researchers. A lot of it comes down to you, uh, the boating community. That's why we made this little video to make sure that you're not introducing plants from lake to lake. Um, you know, otherwise known as hitchhikers. The reason they call these bad guys hitchhikers is because they're mostly spread by hitching rides on our boats and trailers. And if we don't let these invasive species ride away from here on our boats and gear, then they can't get into some place else to cause trouble. It's that simple. So here is what you can do. Take the time to inspect your boat and trailer while removing any plants and animals before leaving the ramp area. Pull plugs and clean, drain, and dry your boat, live well, and bilge on land before leaving. Empty your bait bucket on land far enough away from water that it can't get back into it. Trying to feed the fish by releasing bait into the water only hurts the environment. That's why it's illegal in some places. Rinse off your boat, propeller, trailer, buckets, floats, gear, you name it, the works. And high pressure washing works best. Finally, air dry your boat and equipment for as long as possible before entering new waters. And before you transport your boat out of state, you may need to get a certification or affidavit that certifies your boat, trailer, and other equipment are invasive free. Now if you liked that clip, then you're going to want to see the whole video, which you can get at BoatEd.com. It's a site where you can get certified in boat safety. Leave comments for us, we'd love to hear from you guys, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.